everyone so let's start with the topic of axillary vein and also the explanation of axillary lymph node so firstly i would like to explain how the axillary vein is formed so for that i would like to enlarge this image so yes here we can uh, clearly see the basilic vein okay and also we can appreciate the uh, axillary artery and the brachial artery so i'm using a red color for highlighting this so just lateral to axillary vein we have got the axillary artery which lower to the level of teres major here is the brachial artery okay so clearly here this is the axillary artery and here at the level of lower border of teres major it will be the brachial artery so yes we can see here this is aa that is axillary artery and here we have got the level of teres major muscle tm for that and exactly if i talk about the formation so what happens this axillary vein is formed by joining two vein one is the basilic vein which you can see here basilic vein joins with the vein which is covering or the vena comitans which is surrounding the brachial artery so actually this is the teres major muscle and below this the axillary artery is called as the ba that is brachial artery so vena comitans surrounding the brachial artery joining with the basilic vein leads to the formation of axillary vein so you can see here this is the axillary vein and axillary vein is draining axillary vein is draining into the subclavian vein at the level of outer border of the first rib which is shown in this image so this is clear here okay so let's write it that axillary vein so if i talk about axillary vein formation it is formed by joining basilic vein along with the venae comitans surrounding or around brachial artery so these structures join together and leads to the formation of axillary vein now it is also important to understand the important tributaries of axillary vein so when i am talking about the tributaries the important tributaries of axillary vein will corresponds to the branches of axillary artery so it will correspond to the branches of axillary artery and already we have discussed the topic of axillary artery now so that means the important tributary is the subscapular vein the lateral thoracic vein all that branches of axillary artery correspond to the name of the axillary vein tributaries okay also cephalic vein will pierce the uh, will pierce the clavi pectoral fascia and will drain into axillary vein okay the other important clinical aspect which is important to know about axillary vein we know that both axillary vein and axillary artery is covered by axillary sheath but the thickness of axillary sheath is very very thin around the axillary vein so that it can expand in uh, when there is excess of venous return or the blood is passing through axillary vein so let's talk about why it is important to know about the important tributaries of axillary vein is to know about the location of important axillary lymph nodes so i for that i would like to show you this image where you can appreciate that axillary lymph node is categorized into five types there are five types of axillary lymph node what are they lateral apical pectoral posterior and central here i want to add on one more point that pectoral group of axillary lymph node is also called as anterior group of axillary lymph node and posterior group is also called as subscapular group of axillary lymph node now for your mcq session it is important that you should know you should know the location of the axillary lymph node and the area of the lymphatics drained by these lymph nodes so let's talk about that for that i would like to show you this image where you can appreciate let me just enlarge it where you can appreciate the location of important axillary vein tributaries and the location of axillary lymph node so here in blue color you can see the axillary uh, vein has been shown and let's draw let's draw the two tributaries important tributaries of the axillary vein okay so here yes just a minute i would like to yeah so this is the one tributary 
this would be the other one okay so i am drawing two important tributaries of axillary vein so here this is aa for uh, this is av for axillary vein and this is lateral thoracic vein lateral thoracic vein and this is subscapular vein now now in this diagram you can clearly see the location of important tri uh, important tributaries of axillary vein